Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, a few hours ago, we got a new data download on the global side of the game. So, of course, in today's video, we're going to check it out together to find out exactly what's happening. Now, before we get into it, I want to give a massive shout out and congratulations to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for finally reaching 3,000 followers. It's a huge milestone, definitely a massive accomplishment, but with that said, he should still have a lot more followers than 3k. So if you guys are currently not following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And uh, with that said, let's scroll down a little bit here and get into the assets, starting with the promo movie for the next summonable unit on the global side of the game, which is going to be the Fizz LR Goku and Piccolo slash Piccolo. So here we go. Enjoy, guys. And there you have it, a little preview for the LR Goku and Piccolo slash Piccolo, um, the final release on Global before the seventh anniversary. And uh, the animations look great, you know, some iconic scenes from the start of Dragon Ball Z, from the Saiyan Saga, and uh, there you go. Now from there, actually let me just turn my music back on. There we go. So from there we have the LR assets, starting with the SSR, going into the TUR, and then we have the LR along with the exchange into the Piccolo, and I gotta say, this art looks absolutely phenomenal. I don't know if it's like the background or the beam or the lighting or something like that, but this is easily my favorite Piccolo art in the game right now. And speaking of Piccolo arts, we also have this other Piccolo, which I guess is from the uh, LR Goku and Piccolo asset pool. Yes, it is. Okay, so yeah, there you go. A couple of Piccolos and then the arts for the different forms. And from there, we have a new category, which is Saiyan Saga led by the LR Goku and Piccolo. We also have the Extreme Z Awakening medals for the... STR Bardock, which are dropping on June 20th, so in about four days from now, or three and a half days from now. And there's going to be a new Super Battle Road stage, which you guys saw in the news, and that's for Super Saiyan 2 only. And what else do we have? A new Peton Battle Pack. We have the 12th Peton Battle dropping at the same time as all this other stuff. Actually, no, I lied. Uh, it's going to be June 27th, so about a week after the other stuff comes out. And what else do we have? Uh, some missions. Oh, this is for the new Explosive Chain Battle versus King Cold. And these are the missions that are part of it. Your standard stuff like, uh, you know, 10 million damage, 20 million damage, 100 million damage, uh, sending nices, uh, doing chain battle a certain amount of times, and so on and so forth, right? So... Standard missions for the upcoming King Cold Explosive Chain Battle. And then of course we have this Legendary Summon Ticket which is going to be available for purchase to be used on the LR Goku and Piccolo banner. And last but not least, some more uh, missions for the upcoming campaign uh, involving the Goku and Piccolo. So that's it guys, basically just a mini you know, intermediate celebration to tie us over to the 7th anniversary, which is starting in the first week of uh, July. Uh, I believe July 7th is the date, so um, there you have it. Uh, whether or not you want to summon for this unit, I mean, we'll get into more details about it in the, you know, pass or pull video that's coming out soon, but um, I think it's pretty obvious that you want to save most of your stones for the 7th anniversary. So if you really want this unit, then, I mean, I guess go for it, but don't go too crazy. Um, 
Speaking of which, I will quickly go over the details for this LR for anybody that doesn't know what they do, so if you guys want to find out, then keep watching. If you already know what they do, then feel free to click off the video. So popping over to the uh, Dokkan Wiki now, we have the Desperate Onslaught. LR Goku and Piccolo slash Piccolo leader skill is Saiyan Saga or Battle of Wits. Category key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 150%, 12k super attack, raises attack, and causes colossal damage. 18k super greatly raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional defense plus 200% when HP is 50% or more. P plus 5 plus an additional attack plus 90% and guards all attacks for 5 turns from start of turn. Launches an additional super attack within the same turn, within the same turn, after receiving an attack as the first attacker in a turn plus an additional attack plus 30% when performing an ultra super attack, plus an additional attack plus 70% when activating the active skill or when HP is 24. Or did I say HP? Or when key is 24. When key is 24. The active skill is Special Beam Cannon, which greatly raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to enemy, disables enemy's action once within the turn. Exchanges with Piccolo can be activated after the character receives an attack 7 or more times in battle, or when HP is 50% or less, starting from the 4th turn from start of battle once only. Links are Infighter, Shocking Speed, Tough as Nails, Experienced Fighters, Solid Support, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power, and categories are Joint Forces, Final Trump Card, All Out Struggle, Battle of Wits, Connected Hope, and Saiyan Saga. Now let's check out the Piccolo, which happens, or the exchange happens once you use the active skill, right? Uh, super Attack, 12 key, raises defense and causes colossal damage. 18 key super, massively raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. Passive, recovers 10% HP at the start of turn, E plus 3 and attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional key plus 3, and defense plus 100% with 3 or more key spheres obtained, plus an additional attack plus 100% when performing an ultra super attack, and if HP is 50% or more when performing an ultra super attack, plus an additional attack plus 50% disables the attacked enemy's action once within the turn when HP is 24. Why do I keep saying HP? <laughs> Disables the attack enemy's action once within the turn when key is 24. So uh, as a whole, I'm not going to go too deep on these units, but um, or this unit rather. But what I will say is that it's very good. It's very powerful. Lots of damage. Great defense. Great for super battle road. Great for long events. Um, you know, nothing really negative to say right now, but we're so close to the 7th anniversary, so definitely keep that in mind when you're trying to decide if you want to summon for these guys. And uh, that is essentially going to do it for today's video, guys. That is the data download. Big congratulations once again to Proton10MG. Really appreciate his work. He deserves a hundred thousand followers in my opinion so let's try to get him there as soon as we can and uh yeah that's all i gotta say guys thank you so much for watching as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut video Signing out.